In a world dominated by data and numbers, have you ever stopped to consider the possibility that there could be divine patterns hidden within the numerical structures around us? Welcome to this exploration of the extraordinary world of gematria and the language of God, numbers and mathematics. The concept of gematria is rooted in the belief that mathematics and numbers are more than just tools for calculation. They are, in essence, the language of the divine, a cosmic code that underpins the structure of the universe and everything within it. The scriptures with their intricate numerical patterns and alignments are a testament to this divine design. These patterns are so complex and so perfectly aligned that the probability of their occurrence by mere chance is virtually impossible. This leads us to the intriguing proposition that these numerical designs are intentional and carry a profound hidden significance. They are like encoded messages from the divine waiting to be deciphered. This is where Gematria comes in, serving as a key to unlock these mystical numerical codes embedded in the scriptures. Today, we'll delve into this fascinating subject, exploring its principles, its significance and its application in interpreting the sign of Jonas as mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey into the mystical world of numbers and divine codes. As we delve deeper into the world of numbers and divine codes, it's important to understand that these codes may not just be historical or prophetic. They could carry messages for us today. Yes, you heard it right. The divine language of numbers could potentially have something to say to you at this very moment in your life. Imagine for a moment that God is trying to communicate with you through numbers. What would he say? What kind of wisdom or guidance might he offer? The possibilities are endless. Perhaps he might guide you towards a decision you're struggling with or provide comfort during a difficult time. Or perhaps he might offer a warning or a prophecy about what lies ahead. Whatever the message might be, the key to decoding it lies in understanding the principles of Gematria. So, as we prepare to unravel the hidden meanings in the sign of Jonas, let's first equip ourselves with the knowledge and understanding to decode these divine messages. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the fascinating world of Gematria and the divine language of numbers. Ever wondered if there are hidden signs or divine messages in our lives? Well, you're not alone. Throughout history, mankind has sought to decipher the mysteries of the universe, often turning to the sacred texts for guidance. One such instance is found in the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus was asked for a sign, a divine signal, if you will. The scene unfolds in Matthew 12, 39, 40, where the scribes and Pharisees ask Jesus for a sign, but Jesus, in his infinite wisdom, responds, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. His reference to the Old Testament story of Jonah isn't accidental. It is a deliberate foreshadowing of his own death, burial, and resurrection. Now let's pause for a moment and consider this. Why would Jesus reference the story of Jonah? What's the connection between a prophet swallowed by a fish and the Messiah's crucifixion and resurrection? Here's where it gets interesting. The story of Jonah is more than just a tale of a man swallowed by a fish. It is a metaphorical representation of death and resurrection. Jonah, after being in the belly of the fish for three days and nights, is vomited out onto dry land, alive. This signifies rebirth or resurrection, if you will. Jesus, by connecting his fate to that of Jonah, is subtly revealing the divine plan. Just as Jonah spent three days and nights in the belly of the fish, so would Jesus spend three days and nights in the heart of the earth, only to rise again. So, what could be the hidden messages in this prophecy, you might ask? Well, to decipher that, we'll need to delve into the fascinating world of Gematria, a mystical numerical system that has been used to interpret scriptures in Judaism and early Christianity, but that is a story for another time. For now, let's sit with the profound wisdom of the sign of Jonas, and marvel at the intricate tapestry of divine design woven into our sacred texts. Gematria, ever heard of it? Well, it's a key to unlocking some of the most profound mysteries of the scriptures. Let's dive in. Gematria is an alphanumeric code that assigns a numerical value to a name, word, or phrase based on its letters. A practice deeply rooted in Judaism and early Christianity, 
it serves as a unique interpretive lens through which we can explore the rich symbolism and hidden meanings within the sacred texts. By assigning numbers to words, we create a mathematical framework that can reveal subtle connections, patterns and messages that might otherwise remain concealed. It's a bit like cracking a divine code, one that allows us a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of wisdom woven into the scriptures. Now let's put this knowledge to work. We're going to apply gematria to understand the hidden messages in Matthew 12, 39, 40. Numbers, they're not just for mathematicians. In gematria, they can reveal hidden truths in the scriptures. Today, we delve into the significance of the numbers 1061, 71, and 990 in this ancient alphanumeric code. The number 1061 is associated with the Greek word semion, which translates to sign. This immediately connects us to the prophecy in Matthew 12, 39, 40, where Jesus speaks of the sign of Jonas. It's as if the number itself is pointing us towards this crucial piece of the biblical puzzle. Next, we have the number 71. In Gematria, this corresponds with imit, a Hebrew term for truth. This could symbolize Jesus' authenticity and sincerity in his declaration. It's a number that underlines the veracity of his words and the earnestness of his prophecy. The number 990 is associated with the Greek phrase entekoilia, which means in the belly. This phrase brings to mind images of Jonah's time in the belly of the big fish and Jesus' prophecy about his time in the grave. It's a number that ties together the Old Testament story of Jonah and the New Testament prophecy about Jesus in a profound way. But what does this all mean in the broader context of Christian faith? The numbers 1061, 71 and 990 offer a deeper understanding of Jesus' prophecy. They reveal a hidden layer of meaning, a numerical narrative that echoes and reinforces the spiritual message of the text. These numbers, as we've seen, add a deeper layer of meaning to the prophecy. But what does this all mean in the broader context of Christian faith? The sign of Jonas, a prophetic symbol that points to one of the most significant events in Christian faith. Now, the early church fathers like St. Augustine and St. Jerome interpreted this sign in a remarkable way. They saw the sign of Jonas as a prefiguration of Christ's resurrection. Their reasoning was quite profound. Just as Jonah emerged from the belly of the fish after three days, Jesus would rise from the grave after three days. This interpretation affirmed the divine nature of Jesus and underscored his mission for mankind's salvation. The sign of Jonas, therefore, was not just a response to a demand for a sign. It was a profound message about Jesus' mission. It foreshadowed his death, burial and triumphant resurrection after three days. This prophecy then served not just as a response to a demand for a sign, but as a profound message about Jesus' mission for mankind's salvation. So what have we discovered today in our exploration of Gematria and the Scriptures? We have journeyed through the intricate world of numbers and their divine significance in the Bible. We've unearthed how Gematria helps unlock deeper meanings in the scriptures, revealing an intricate numerical design that parallels and reinforces theological messages. We've delved into the fascinating prophecy of the sign of Jonas and how the numbers 1061, 71 and 990 through Gematria correspond to key elements of this prophecy, the sign, truth and in the belly. This prophecy served as a foreshadowing of Jesus' own death and triumphant resurrection after three days, a cornerstone of Christian faith. These numerical revelations show that mathematics is not just a tool for calculation, but a language that further illuminates the wisdom of biblical texts. Next time you read a biblical text, remember there might be more than meets the eye. Who knows what other hidden messages await discovery?